What's up guys? Are you ready for a new learning? I'm going to teach you as fast and as clear as possible. Today's topic is about common monomial factor. But before that, let's have a short review first about GCF or greatest common factor. We have here 4 and 10. First, we need to know the prime factors of each number. The prime factors of 4 is 2 and 2. And the prime factors of 10 is 2 and 5. As we can see, they have a common factor of 2. Since this is the only common factor, then the greatest common factor of 4 and 10 is 2. Let's have another example. We have here 6, 12, and 18. Let's find their prime factors first. The prime factors of 6 is 2 and 3. The prime factors of 12 is 2, 2, and 3. And the prime factors of 18 is 2, 3, and 3. As we can see, they have a common factors of 2 and 3. Since they have two common factors, we need to multiply these two common factors to find the greatest common factor, which is 6. Now, let's try to find the greatest common factor of these variables. First, we need to put them in their expanded form. By observation, we can easily identify that they are common with x times x times x. In exponent form, that is x cubed. So the greatest common factor is x cubed. Another example, y squared, y raised to 4, and y raised to 5. Put them in their expanded form. Now we can see that they are all common with y times y. Meaning, the greatest common factor is y squared. Now, let's try factoring using common monomial factor. We have here 4x cubed plus 10x raised to 5. First thing we need to do is to find the GCF of their numerical coefficients. And that is 2. Next, the GCF of the variable x. That is x cubed. We now have 2x cubed as our common monomial factor. Next, we need to divide each term from the given to our common monomial factor. Let's start with the numerical coefficient of the first term. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then the variable x cubed divided by x cubed is 1 or we can just cancel out those two x cubes. Next, copy the operation. Then repeat the process on the second term. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And x raised to 5 divided by x cubed is x squared. Next, we're going to arrange those answers to get the factored form. Let's copy the common monomial factor first. Then multiply it to the quantity of the quotient that we get. So the factored form of 4x cubed plus 10x raised to 5 is 2x cubed multiplied to the quantity of 2 plus 5x squared. Another one. 12y squared plus 12y raised to 4 plus 18y raised to 5. The GCF of their numerical coefficients is 6. And the GCF of the variable is y squared. Now, let's divide each term to 6y squared. Starting with the numerical coefficient of the first term, 12 divided by 6 is 2. y squared divided by y squared is 1, or just cancel out those two y squareds. Then copy the operation, then repeat the process. 12 divided by 6 is 2, and y raised to 4 divided by y squared is y squared. Copy the operation, then divide the last term. 18 divided by 6 is 3. y raised to 5 divided by y squared is y cubed. And then, arrange the answers. Copy the monomial factor 6y squared and multiply it to the quantity of 2 plus 2y squared plus 3y cubed. 
Our answer is 6y squared multiplied to the quantity of 2 plus 2y squared plus 3y cubed. Another one. 4x cubed y squared plus 10x raised to 5. Get the GCF of the numerical coefficient and the GCF of the variable. As you can see, the second term doesn't have variable y. So our common monomial factor is 2x cubed. Divide each term to our common monomial factor. 4 divided by 2 is 2. x cubed divided by x cubed is 1 or just cancel those two x cubes. Next, just copy the y squared. Then copy the operation and divide the second term. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And x raised to 5 divided by x cubed is x squared. Now arrange the answers. Copy the common monomial factor. And multiply it to the quantity of 2y squared plus 5x squared. The factored form of 4x cubed y squared plus 10x raised to 5 is 2x cubed times the quantity of 2y squared plus 5x squared. Another one. For my last example, 15y squared plus 10x squared y raised to 4 plus 20x squared y raised to 5. Get the GCF of the numerical coefficient and the variables. So our common monomial factor is 5y squared. Divide each term to the common monomial factor. 15y squared divided by 5y squared is equal to 3. Copy the operation. Next, 10x squared y raised to 4 divided by 5y squared is equal to 2x squared y squared. Then copy the operation. Last, divide the last term. 20x squared y raised to 5 divided by 5y squared is equal to 4x squared y cubed. Then, we just need to arrange our answers. Copy the common monomial factor and multiply it to the quantity of 3 plus 2x squared y squared plus 4x squared y cubed. Our final answer, 5y squared multiplied to the quantity of 3 plus 2x squared y squared plus 4x squared y cubed. And that's how we do factoring using common monomial factor. Nice. If you like this tutorial, please like, share, and subscribe. What we do here is go back.